In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, to the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, beside whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word, to me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against me. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let 
kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Brave Angelica Dicta Deliantinosha. Today we offer this Mass for Joseph Hill and his intentions. We consider this Gospel passage. Our Lord is making reference about the blind, the lame, the lepers, the deaf, the good news. being He's making reference to the prophecy of the Messiah, calling himself, not explicitly, but implicitly, the Messiah, and says, blessed are they who take no offense, which, let's just bear in mind that when he went to his hometown of Nazareth, they said, who do you think you are? We know you. You grew up here. You're not... They took offense at him, remember. And so that is entirely a possible reaction. And certainly in our own lives, we can take offense. How often, perhaps, maybe I'll just speak personally from myself, somebody comes and says, you know, what you're doing is wrong. And I'm like, who are you to tell, you know? I take offense at when... This person who's acting in the person of Christ comes and offers me correction. Blessed are they who do not take offense, but rather recognize God visiting them, proclaiming, repent, and believe in the gospel. Today, we also just, it's not observed on our current calendar, but towards his, uh, just right before he retired, Bishop Laverty spoke to us priests, and he said, maybe we need to bring back the Ember Days. And I kind of remember thinking to myself, like, what on earth is an Ember Day? But um, then you kind of look into it a little bit, and it was a tradition to kind of mark the seasons, and um, you would uh, have a little bit. It wasn't maybe a complete, like, ridiculous, you know, but it was just a little bit of a penitential note 
at the beginning of each of the seasons, so winter, spring, summer, and fall. And the winter one would start uh, on the Wednesday, the ember days would be the Wednesday, the Friday, and the Saturday after the Feast of St. Lucy, which was on Sunday, even though we didn't celebrate because it was Sunday. But that would mean then today would be the first of the three ember days for winter. Um, and so um, just, you know, again, it's, you know, Bishop Laverty just kind of threw it out there at us priests. He's like, maybe we should think about this. You know, so I just throw it out there for all you. Maybe you should think about this. Um, not that you have to do penance today. You know, you know it's not, it would just be out of a voluntary sense. But, you know, it just kind of definitely struck me as you hear these first reading, the psalm, talking about nature. And there was this idea that we want to tie all of nature into our liturgical pr prayer and our life into the, the cycles of nature so that we can all, because St. Paul says, all creation groans as it awaits the coming of gl God's glory. And so as we like, have our feet deeply planted in the earth, uh, we would be tied to, to the changing of the seasons in addition to just uh, kind of living in the ecstasy that is ours as Christians, right? Because um, I know we're always filled with that joy of like, wow, every, every mass is like a little bit of, of, of Easter as we like, get to see our Lord you know, victorious over sin and death. But we can also kind of extend it out every, every week is as with Sunday being Easter, but then we can also kind of extend it out every year has this cycle to it. And so to uh, have all these many different various levels to our spiritual life can be um, perhaps fruitful. So I posit it to you that if you'd like, uh, today being the first of the three ember days, a little bit of extra penance on uh, this Wednesday, this coming Friday, and this coming um, uh, Saturday. Station of Ersi Quid, the two large Itate, Chepamus Pon, Quimtibia Ferdinus, Pope to Sandy, the Obertis, Mom, Home, the Mexican, the Skit, Pony, Svita, Benedictus Deus in Sequela. Via Sacred Beam, Eos of the Chairman of Initatis, Consortis, Qui, Humanitatis, Notre, Quia, Dignata, Fesca, Tichus. Station of Air Sequia to two Logitate, Chipamus Vinum, Quotiva Ferdinus, Fructus Vitis, the Oblis Monum Homo, the Mexican of his feet, Potus Spiritualis, Benedictus Deus in Sequela. In Spiritu Humilitati, San Anima Contrito, Shushibia Mete Domine, Sicti, Sacrificium Notion of Expect to Hodia, Plagia, Tibidomni Deus. Lava me Domi Avenue, the Cotton Mail. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. 
be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them. As once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servants, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin the souls. Amen. If you are able, please join me for praying up the chaplain of divine mercy for our country, our parish, our families and for the conversion of sinners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired to Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountains of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the 
sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of his, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful.